Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good, Sosa Gang? Sosa Gang, I'm back with another banger for y'all today. Feel me? Um, last video, it was a uh, advanced dribble tutorial, and I told y'all if y'all could get this video to a thousand likes, I would drop the combo tutorial. And y'all hit that in less than 24 hours. I think y'all hit that in 12 hours. It's actually crazy. That video did so well, so you already know I had to come through with a combo tutorial for y'all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like and a comment and don't forget to sub. It don't cost you none and it helps me out way more than you think. Like it means everything to me when y'all do this. Without anything else, I want to just get straight into this video. I don't want to waste y'all time. Before this video starts though, I would like to let y'all know. I dropped the beginner dribble tutorial. I dropped the advanced dribble tutorial. This is the combo dribble tutorial. That means that you have already watched the beginner. You've already watched the uh, advanced one. So you know how to do the moves. Because this video is not... I'm going to explain some moves. But I'm not really going to show how to do moves. Like, we're going to still have the controller cam right here. You feel me? But what I'm trying to say is, if you don't have the moves down this video, it's probably going to be a little hard for you. So I advise you to go watch the two other dribble tutorials before you come to this video. I will link them right now in the top right corner as you see right there. You can click on that or you can just go to my page and find them. But if you already watched them, then this video is for you. Move like me, you're going to need my six. So I'm going to just show them here one more time. Um, the pass style is, is uh, Trey Young. The dribble style is Kyrie Irving. Signature size is Steve Francis. Regular breakdown combo is Shia Thomas. Aggressive breakdown combo LeBron James. Escape moves Kemba Walker. Combo moves Stephen Curry. Crossover is Jason Tatum. Behind the back Stephen Curry. Spin move John Moran. Hesitation Chris Paul. Step back Stephen Curry. These don't matter. My motion style is Malik Monk. Let me show that real quick. See that right there? Malik Monk. And I already know the comments going to be asking for the jump shot because y'all do that every time I do one of these videos. So I'm going to just show y'all real quick. It's John Stockton, Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson. 4 for 4 speed, 50 50 blending. Show y'all my controller settings too. I don't got vibration on. I got my shot timing on shots and layups. My visual cue is jump. I don't got I don't use my jump shot meter. I don't use layup meter neither. I don't like looking at it. Um let me see, is there anything else we need from in here? Yeah, pro stick function, make sure this is default and pro stick orientation, make sure it's absolute. And I think that's it. A lot of people ask me how like I don't feel delayed when I dribble. And trust me I do, but I got some tips to help that out for you. This these are just what I, what helped me out, you feel me? I'm not telling you to go out of your way and buy a monitor and all that, but I'm saying like a monitor definitely helps you get better delay so you don't got the input delay on the TV. Make sure your controller is always plugged into your console and make sure you use a LAN cable or Ethernet cable because that's all, all of that is just going to make it way better for you to dribble, way more smooth for you. Shooting wise too, like the whole game is just going to be smooth for you. So let's go into the, to the art of shoot, art of shooting gym. Ah, uh, you feel me? So that's a little, uh, that's a little preview to show y'all, like, what I'm trying to teach y'all how to, what to do. Y'all, y'all gotta know, though, like, this is not easy, like, you're not gonna come out of this video on the first try and be, like, just as good as me, y'all. I mean, some of y'all might, you feel me? I'm not here to judge, but I'm saying, though, like, this takes a little time to learn, so don't give up after the first try. You wanna build up the muscle memory. This year is about, it's actually not about how fast you can flick your sticks, it's about finding your rhythm. So what I'll be doing today is giving y'all some presets. A preset is like three moves that y'all put together and make it into a combo. So like, let's say something like that right there. See that? That's a preset right there, you feel me? I'm gonna teach y'all how to do the presets and then y'all gonna have to like learn how to spam it. There's three moves that's key to combos, right? And I'll show you why. The first one is the momentum. This one right here, this is what is gonna make your combos look glitchy because you can put any move into a momentum. It's so like momentum snatchback, momentum short snatchback, momentum behind the back, momentum explosive behind the back, momentum explosive from the front, momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can put momentum into everything, and that's why, like, if you see me comboing up, you're gonna see me do a whole lot of momentums. The next move is gonna be this little crap right here. Cause this is just nice, like you combo on up. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just nice to have in the. 
because you can speed boost out of it and you can do whatever you want with it. It's a nice move. It just makes your combo look glitchy. Momentum into it. You can also crap people with it, let's say like that. Let's say he's in front of you, right? You're dribbling, you can see you coming up on the side on him. You just hit him with a quick boom. And you can shoot off it. The third move is this snatch bag right here. Explosive and the small one. Cause this is not like let's say you combo up, right? You just pop that in real quick. You just look mad nice, another explosive one like that. Like you can just speed us out of the explosive one, that's why it's nice. I like the small one though, because you can just like while comboing up, you can just start moving backwards with it. Alright, so the first preset I got for y'all, right? So you remember how to do the momentum? I'm gonna say it really quick. You hold turbo and you flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. So you wanna flick it up here, and the left stick follows through the same way. Also, in your right hand, you wanna hold turbo and flick your right stick diagonal up left. And the left stick goes the same way. Make sure you flick the right stick first. So you can do the momentum. And then you do the Steve Francis crap. So it's that one. All you do is flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Ball in the left hand, you flick it right. Ball in the right hand, you flick it left. You see that right there on the controller? Alright. So what you want to do is momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. Momentum, Steve Francis. See that? And don't come in here just trying to spam it off the rip. Start getting it down like this first. Start getting it down like this. And then after that, you can start putting it together like this. Next one I got for y'all is going to be the Trey Young and Steve Francis crap. You want to put them together like this. So, the difference between the Trey Young and Steve Francis crap is literally holding turbo and don't holding turbo. Because if you do the Steve Francis, it's without turbo. You do the Trey Young, it's with turbo. See what I'm saying? So, you do one with turbo, one without. One with, one without. One with, one without. And then, and then like, when you learn to do it fast, it's going to look like this. Third combo I got for y'all is gonna be a mix between two combos I just showed y'all. It's gonna look like this. What you do is you do a Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum. like that once again remember don't just come in here trying to spam it learn how to do it slow first like you can start you know what I'm saying like boom 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 and you can start speeding it up a little bit a little faster and at the end you can start doing them fast and spam them together after each other so now what we're gonna do is start building up on this one the thing about combos is it's just about building moves onto it. So let's say we do the Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, Explosive behind the back. Not explosive, uh, misdirection behind the back. Yeah. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, misdirection behind the back. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, misdirection behind the back. Then it's gonna look something like this. Uh, so now what we want to do is add some more into it. This is all combo and is. You don't even have to do my presets, you feel me? Find your own presets if you want. But I'm going to just give you mine, you feel me? But next thing we're going to do is, let's say, do the Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum, Misdirection Behind the Back, Trey Young Crap, Chris Paul Hesitation. I see, now it's getting a little difficult. Slow the video down if you have to. I'm gonna slow mo the clip down too. Do it again. Trey Young. Now Steve Francis. Trey Young. Steve Francis. Momentum. Misdirection behind the back. 
Trey Young crap and um Chris Paul uh, hesitation. Alright, so you feel me like I've been giving y'all the presets and shit, but the thing is, like, you don't only gotta use the preset I uh, showed you, you gotta change it up, like, you gotta learn how to freestyle with it. So you gotta know when to put the moves in, like, you gotta learn how to put this one in it, you gotta learn how to put the curry slide in it. When to speed boost, uh, make sure you don't just combo up and don't speed boost, you feel me, like, you wanna combo up and then hit them with a speed boost, that's what, that is what kills them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can build your own presets. Let me build up one right now. Momentum, Steve Francis, Curry Slide. See? It's all about just find three moves, put them together, and then make it to a combo. Momentum, uh, misdirection behind the back, double crap, behind the back. Wait, let me see if this even works. See? That right there. all about you getting creative with it i promise you and then you want to have like some glitchy moves you can put into it like i like doing this one right here should i teach y'all that real quick i ain't gonna lie so y'all know how to do the city slide you know that one so you want to flick it from let's say like this stick right here yeah see it turning around this is like a clock so you want to flick it from what would we say this is six you want to flick it from six to twelve this way see that right there so after you spun around you want to flick it that way let me show you a little quick see so let's say you're a guy that likes to do behind the backs like this right it looks super glitchy if you like snatch it back like that and keep going Combo up, boom. You see that? The way you do this is after you've done it behind the back, you just want to flick your right stick up. Like up here. Just want to show one more time. Do behind the back, flick the right stick up. But like, my biggest tip though. Is to learn how to get glitchy with the momentum. Because you can do so much with the momentum. Like, let's say you're comboing up. You do hit them with a little momentum. And speed away. Momentum speed boost. You feel me? Like, you want to know, like, if you, as many momentum as you put in there, speed boost, not of the momentum, will always be key. Or, like, you can go like this and then speed boost this side. You can go like this and go to the same side. It's all about, like, confusing them. You feel me? So, yeah, just learn how to put moves into the momentum. all about that i'm gonna be real it's all about learning how to do a momentum and another move almost every time i, I dribble it's like my second move is always a momentum or like my third move at least momentum always comes in so learn how to do moves out of the momentum that's what i'm trying to tell you So you made it to the end of the video and as always you know i appreciate you for making it to the end if you made it to the end comment state so i can see who really stayed to the end so i can see who's real and all that if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub like and a comment it don't cost you none and it helps me out way more than you can imagine and i ain't gonna lie to you you know i'm gonna get y'all right this year so you want to be sub because i'm on a grind and i'm not stopping you feel me like i'm really gonna make y'all the best but without anything else said i appreciate everybody i appreciate all the love all the support every single one of y'all i love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Sosa out.